Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to talk about touch sensors. Um, so there are four different blocks that you can use to interact with the touch sensor that's plugged into the uh, EV3. Uh, the weight block, the loop block, the switch block, and the actual sensor block, the touch sensor. So let's pull out the sensor one first. So uh, when it comes out, it's just in a measure state. So all it does is output whatever state the uh, touch sensor is in. So if it's pressed in, pressed or um, not pushed in. The other thing is the compare. Uh, you input whatever state you're looking for. So uh, released, pressed, or bumped. It tells you whether it's true or not through here. This is the logic wire. Remember, the green ones are logic and it also has a um, numeric value for what the state is currently. So it's important to note that the numeric value only shows zeros and ones because the touch sensor is what's known as a digital output so it only has two different options uh, zero and one. Zero meaning uh, released and one meaning pressed. The weight block, if you remember, has two different options, the compare and the change. So the compare waits until whatever you're looking for, so released, pressed, or bumped, so bump means in and out before it acts, and then it'll move on to whatever blocks you have after that. And it also outputs what the state is of the uh, touch sensor at the time. The loop only has one option, and it's that state. So what this loop does is it runs until whatever you set it to has happened. So it'll run until the loop is released, or until the loop is, or until the um, touch sensor is bumped. So in and out, etc. Everything in here will be run. And finally, the switch. Switch is a true or false um, switch. It's not numeric, so you can't add a whole bunch of cases, else ifs, because there's only two possible options. What you do is you look for whatever state you're looking for, so released, and if it's true, it'll go to the check mark, as in uh, good, I guess, and if it's false, it'll go to the X. Um, that's the only uh, option for touch sensor with uh, a switch. So we're going to take a look at two different ways to use this. Uh, first one I'm going to use is a loop and we're going to make it drive until you touch the touch sensor. So um, we're going to use the on so it'll run forever. It doesn't have a uh, set degree or time because we want the loop to take care of that. You'll see in a second. So once again our ports are A and D. You could name the loop if you want. We don't really need to but we can name uh, touch just because it's a touch sensor. Change it to touch sensor and state and let's say when it's pressed we want it to exit. So that's right what we want. And then we want it to stop. So we turn off the motors. Doesn't really matter what order you have them in for this, and it can break, which is perfectly fine. The power level seems fine. Let's take a look at what this does. So what we're going to do is display the touch sensor value to the screen. So for this, we're going to use the sensor block and the measure state. And you can see it right here, this is a logic. So true, false. And what we're going to do is get our display block that we used previously and change it to text. So right now you're thinking, wait a minute, we're putting a true or false into a text block? How does that work? Well, I'll show you. So we're going to 
this is something I didn't mention before uh, is the wired so basically anything you wire into here is going to be displayed on the screen and look it's a square half a square and this is like a triangle so you'd say oh well that's not gonna work but yet it does this is because e the state has a numeric value and basically one or zero as I already explained and pretty much numeric uh, values are also a character and since uh, text is characters it can display it so you'll see when we run it we can name the loop again touch when we run it it'll display what the uh, touch sensor is seeing so one for pressed in and zero for uh, released let's see what it does and there we have it you can see that that worked well and uh, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with touch sensors obviously I can't go through all of them uh, but it's good to let your imagination thrive and come up with new ways to use them anyways that's it for this video and be sure to check out our other videos